So it seems kind of absurd now. But back then, when he put his foot in the Atlantic Ocean, nobody knew who Terry Fox was. They almost had to beg the national TV to get a film crew down there. But after much prodding, they sent a cameraman. Terry, uh, you're not going to be able to make very many miles a day. How long is it going to take you to run across it? Well, by the September, October, I'll get there. I hope it's between 30 and 40 miles in a day. Many people who have run or walked across Canada, but Fox hopes to be the first to do it with an artificial leg. Fox has got a supply of eight pairs of running shoes and three extra legs as well as spare parts in a van. short uh, little speech here before I carry on. I hope you can all understand me. <laughs> when I was 18 years old, they told me I had a malignant tumor that I had to have my leg amputated. And I decided after my year and a half of chemotherapy that I'd try and run across Canada and raise as much money as I could for the Canadian Cancer Society. No one they're going to tell you you're going to have your leg chopped off and try to save your life. It's quite a shock for somebody who's young and athletic. I like to take 12 miles and then take a break, then do another 10 more and take a break. Yes. And then do we were lucky if we'd raise five or ten dollars in days on the road, mainly because nobody knew what we were doing. Terry is running from coast to coast, raising money for the Canadian Cancer Society. We did everything we could to try and talk about it. Run, 12 miles. Breakfast, speaking engagement. Run, 8 miles. Probably the most determined after that. No leg amputee anywhere has ever attempted such a feat. The determination of Terry Fox is making believers out of the skeptic. Within four or five days, it went from people honking at you to get off the road to people slowing down, handing money to you. Place, place with crazy. day I take one day at a time and all you got to do is take another step and keep on going <laughs> 